Hey guys, what's up? So, that I do a quick review on this uh, cable here. It's uh, made by Stinger. It's a six-channel amp um, RCA cable for amp between amp and stereo. And I'm getting like a buzzing sound uh, through my speakers, and I kind of tracked it down to my RCA cable. I have a five-channel amp Pioneer, and you know, four speakers and a subwoofer in the back of my Bronco. And uh, just by chance, I happened to wiggle the wire one day. I was like, couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. I thought it was a grounding issue, so I'm checking my grounds, adding additional grounds. And uh, one day, I just happened to wiggle the cable, and, and the buzzing went away. So, and actually, the RC, I'll show you right now, but the RC cable is a, that's not a cheap RCA cable. So, I think this was like about 20 bucks or less than 20 bucks on Amazon. It wasn't expensive, but yeah, it's just annoying because every time my kid kicks them, the RCA cable will start to buzz. But I'll show you that real quick. All right. All right, guys, let me show you my setup. Turn the radio down a little bit. So I got a Pioneer. It's like a media-only uh, stereo. You know, just like Bluetooth and stuff. I don't, I don't have any CDs, so I didn't want a CD player. So um, it's a pretty cool. It's a little micro size uh, little radio. I should take that. So grab this. Is my uh, oh, kid dropped a gummy bear in there or something. It's pretty dusty and dirty, but yeah, you can see the leads in here. So originally I had a four-channel amp, but uh, it's these RCA cables right here, these uh, monster cables. And then uh, this is my sub. So I'm hoping to replace it. It's kind of loose too, but that's not what's causing the sound. Let's see if I can get it to go. Yeah, it's... Well... I don't know, I guess I can't re reproduce it right now. It kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm looking at the wires around there. Sorry. Looking at my dear, dirty car here. So. Yeah, what the hell? Can I, I, can't, I guess I just can't reproduce it right now. It kind of sucks. Yeah, that one's pretty loose. But yeah, I have uh, some kicker speakers. Two in the front. Some behind that roll bar and that sub in the back. Well, let me if I turn that. Actually, no, 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 maybe like because my car isn't running. I'll try again. No, I don't know, but it, it definitely makes a buzzing sound. It's definitely coming from the RCA cable. So, um, maybe it actually doesn't when my car's running. But I thought I should, it did it without the car running, so. Yeah, I'm going to replace that though. So I just wanted to show you the cable. Um, yeah, like I said, I tried grounding this thing and that's why I just one day happened to hit this thing and made the buzzing go away. But let me go back and show you the cable again, what I like about it. Alright, back here at the box. And if you looked at him, if you were watching my videos and you see those links below, those are actually companies I run. And uh, OC Data Cabling, we do voice and data cabling. And uh, fiber optic. But uh, one thing I've learned from the, the data side, you know, running data wires, is that you're dealing with a twisted pair of wire. And you can see it's twisted there, but... In the, I'm not sure about in the audio world, I don't know very much about audio, but I know in the data world it prevents crosstalk on the wires, and that's, that's why they're twisted. So what's the reasoning what they say? Okay, uh, exceptional noise reduction or no, exceptional noise rejection from directional twisted pair construction. So I guess it's sort of the same concept. All right, so I'm gonna get this on and see if it, uh, I, mean, I just, I wish you could have heard that buzz. It's annoying because it's kind of intermittent, right? It's, it'll just start buzzing all of a sudden out of nowhere. Then I have to go down and I have to jiggle a cable and uh, it stops buzzing. So, yeah, but those cables, like that, that monster cable was probably hundred dollars, you know, five years ago, so. All right, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you how short this radio was. It's that it's a Pioneer Media only, and it's called Media or Mix Track. But uh, as you can see, I mean, I actually was working on all different kinds of grounds and trying to figure out what the deal with this buzz was. Uh, that, that even actually goes back uh, right all the way back to the engine block. So yeah, RCA cable, crazy, crazy. All right. Hey, right, guys. Look at that cable. Pretty cool looking flat cable. So I'm going to tape these together 
and I used the blue one to pull it through the uh, carpet right there, like down through the carpet. And then uh, I'm also going to be pulling my uh, my uh, cable for my uh, sub uh, adjuster. All right, so uh, get that going. All right, guys, back in business. Alright, I'm going to get an excess cable bundled up right there, so that's not the greatest, but they just don't make a shorter cable. I mean, if I could have got a 8 foot, 6 foot cable, I would have got that, but they don't make 12 foot with a small one I could find, so. Yeah, it sounds like it's more clear, too, so. At least the reception, but, yeah, I, I got to clean my, I took out my center console when I put that side shifter in, so. Got to find new homes for all that crap in there right there, so. Alright guys, pretty cool, huh? pretty cheap. Alright, awesome.